I want to show you how to work the big wide glide. I've got it set up here on an extra heavy eight foot Loomis musky rod. And I've got a 300 EJ Curado high speed retrieve reel. And you'll notice most importantly with any glide bait, it's okay to have a snap here, but as you work on down the leader, this is, this is the critical point with a glide bait. If you've got a real heavy uh, swivel up here, causes the leader to sink when uh, when you give the bait slack. So what I've done here is just tied a double nail knot. I've got Power Pro to a Bimini, two strands to a double nail knot. So I've got a weightless connection at this point to the lure. What most people would do wrong with a lure of this type is pull it too far and not give it slack. If you give this a sweeping jerk, it's not gonna do anything. What you wanna do is just little little kind of bumps and pauses. You can go down like this, bing, bing, bing. What I like to do is get it kind of sideways and then give it a real good hard pop and then slack. Snap and slack, snap and slack. Now, you can work it quickly like I just did with just snaps of the reel handle, but usually the best way to work this lure isn't a mechanical zigzag, zigzag, really evenly. Lots of pauses, and let it hang, it'll kind of shake when it stops. And you can also work it up like this. I've got my rod tip straight up, I'm just jerking it like this, and I'm just gonna work it straight up in the air. And you get a little bit of crud in the back and it won't zigzag. That's why you always want to cut the feathers off if you want to get maximum zigzag on the wide glide. This one's a little bit beat up. It's a new color, but uh, I fished with it yesterday and caught a nice muskie on it. And, uh, the paint is on the outside on this one, on the, on the uh, versions that you'll get. The paint's actually on the inside of the lure, so it can't ever come off. Right, now I've got a different leader on this one. This is a stiff Monel wire leader. Single strand of wire. Just a knot here. And I've attached a split ring to the nose. And I'm purposely throwing this instead of on a, on a long eight foot rod. This is a seven foot Terramar. And rather than use a high speed reel, I've got a little Curado 50 here. And what that does is every time I snap the handle, it only pulls at a short distance as opposed to longer distance. And then of course the rod being shorter gives you a little bit shorter pop too. And it's actually easier to work the bait with a, a little slower reel and a shorter rod, just so it's stiff. You'll notice on the slow glide, Right at the end of the glide, it gives a sexy little wobble. And they often T-bone it just as it's come to a stop and wobbled a couple times. Killer to fish through cabbage. 